everyone it is me plantine charlene and today's video is going to be about an update of plants that i had uh transferred from lecca to i'm um, sorry from soil to lecca <laughs> so before i begin my video i wanted to dedicate this video to four lives people i never met before but what happened to them in their life is affecting me today and many others and it's affecting me in an emotional way there's a lot of feelings that i'm having and um i just wanted to dedicate this video to their lives and their families their friends and anyone who has loved them and those are ahmaud arbery sean reed brianna taylor and george Floyd. So my videos, if this is your first time coming to my channel, I am a proud plant parent and I do videos based on plants that I own or have purchased. And as I said today, this video will be about plants that I have transferred from soil to LECA. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe. I hope you subscribe, comment, like. And click the bell to know when a new video is coming. If this is not your first time to my channel, I appreciate you always for returning. I appreciate everybody, first timers and returners. Okay, so the first plant I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to tell you guys, most of the plants that I have here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them, one is not doing well. Actually, I have nine, so I have to add it. One is not doing well. And I'm not going to start with that one. I'm going to start here with this one. This was the plant that I wasn't sure what it was when I did a um, when I did my original um, I like it a lot video, which I will post up here wherever it lands. Um, I was afraid that I killed it. It was in. Where's my plant? I'm going to start with two because it was originally in this one. And when I separated the the plant from the soil, this was in there as well. And I was like, oh, is this a weed? I don't know what it is. I still don't know what it is. And it could be a weed. And it's, it's growing happily. So I'll get back to this one. So I don't know the name of this. I have no idea. I really think it's a weed and it's growing happily um you see there look at those roots um i'm just gonna see where it goes i don't care <laughs> who cares right it's a plant it doesn't attract bugs it's growing who knows maybe it'll give me a flower or something so this is now called the mystery plant that's one down. Okay, next up is this sad little thing you see right here. This is my zebra plant, which I am looking at and noticing that there's a new leaf growing down there at the bottom. This was a part of my uh, small plant series video that I will also put up here. And it was dying off, but I just didn't want to give up on it. This is one of those resilient plants that always come back, that comes back for me. I have an old video that um, I can put up here that I did some years back that was a kitten text messages that I did a two or three part series. Oh my goodness. And this plant came back for me then and is coming back for me now. I'm going to bring it in closer. Give me okay, one second. Okay, so here it is. This is my zebra plant. I took the chance and said, let me find out if I can get it to produce new leaves. So you see it's two right here, and then there's one right there. So um, I'm going to pull it. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see. If there's any roots coming out I'm gonna check that now okay so let's see there's no roots that I can see 
Oh, I do see some over here, which is a good sign. That's a good sign. Yay. There are some over here. I'm not going to zoom in on that. But like I said, there's new leaves coming up. So this is a success in my world, just like my mystery plant. All right. Next up is my Anthurium Fingers plant. I don't know what happened. I really don't. Something went wrong, but I saw that it had good roots still. So I said I'll put it in LECA. And within days, this uh, leaf shot up. But it's not like the best leaf in the world, as you guys can see. But there is another one coming up. So this is still a success story for me. So there is one coming right there as well, if you guys can see that. Um, I'm hoping it'll look better than the one that is here. Because this is a more like two finger. And it's usually at least four or five fingers for this plant. So it's missing three of its fingers. And there's no roots coming out the bottom yet. But as long as I see new life, new leaves, new stems coming, that's a success. So three in a row okay so this one was my little tree plant i don't know what happened i think it's a coffee plant and it's it's not doing well i mean there's still some good um leaves healthy happy looking green leaves here but these over here are dried out and crunchy you hear that right um let's see if there's roots no roots but like I said there is still leaves coming up and as long as I see new life coming out of this the, the if there's new stems coming out I am considering it a success success okay this is really a success story. This is my Peperomia uh, Hope. I transferred it. It was actually not in soil. This was, um, when I originally got it, it was in soil, but then I had put it in water for it to uh, water propagate. And it was fine. But I was like, why not add LECA and give it the nutrients, blah, blah, blah. And I did. So this one is doing well. It's growing nicely. I have new leaves coming all over the place. You see that there, here, it's, it's doing just fine. The only thing that I will say is that because I have it in this clear, cheap plastic cup and the window gives um, morning light, algae built up in this really bad the other day, so I had to uh, change the water and now I just take a napkin and wrap it around the bottom of the cup so that um so that the uh, algae wasn't won't build up in it again so super success like the mystery plant that's a super success okay so here is my ponytail plant um sorry my throat is killing me Um, this one I transferred into my pink LECA that I got from Canada Matters, I think. Um, when I received this plant from Plantarina, I already had this little baby pup here. It's still here, so that's a plus. I had to cut off, or I chose to cut off the all the brown leaves that were, um, all on the tips of this of the the plant I don't like the way that looks but I don't like the way it looks now either because it's not as much of a curled up ponytail so but I can live with it I see a lot of new growth you can tell new growth with this plant because it turns the new growth is a very lighter green versus more mature leaves if you see here okay let me move my tea sorry all right 
you guys know what I'm saying. The leaves, the leaves are a lighter green color than the once it matures and it turns into a darker green color. So I had super long leaves like this and then I had to cut them because of the browning. I forgot to water this and as you can see there is roots all throughout there and if you see the bottom you can see those roots there but there's roots all throughout here and I forgot to water it because I keep the water low and the tips went brown 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 so there we go that's that that is a success okay this is a epic fail because this to me is this just on a larger scale excuse me is this so I don't understand what the problem is they looked exactly the same that's why I believe this is a coffee plant but the guy told me when I purchased it he didn't tell me that it was a coffee plant so um, I don't know what the problem is I did a little mix of white and pink Lekka that again I got from Canada Canada matter I'll put the name at the bottom to make sure it'll be down below in the description area but I didn't understand what happened these roots were are really good in here like when I planted it in this the Lekka the roots were real good I didn't I don't know I don't know what I didn't do I have it under the same kind of lights it was under before I transferred it over the Lekka so nothing changed in that only the Lekka factor and I, I don't know part of me is like it's gonna come back <laughs> part of me is like something regular green will come through there and this crunch will eventually fall off and the plant will be all right i refuse to give up i'm sorry okay next up is my is my um diphenbeckia sterling i got this plant from um gabriella plants think either earlier this year or last year and I decided to transfer it to Lekka because the I kept forgetting to water the soil and see that nice crunchy crispy leaves and it also seemed like every time I would get a new leaf I would lose a leaf um, I forgot to water this one too recently I but oh I'm just seeing something here well first of all look at that so that's a good look but what I'm noticing let me bring this closer because it's tripping look at do you guys see that right there see that little green leaf sticking out that's new ta-da yay so currently I have one, two, three, four, five, and a sixth one coming. And now I got a seventh one. Yay! I didn't see that before. So this is a super success as well. My sterling is going to be no, I'm not gonna be corny that way. Okay, so this one is a success, guys. Thank you. Yay. Welcome to the jungle. So this one is my Dracenia, it's a margin, no it's not a, let's see, Marginata Bicolor, yes, that's the one it is, that's the one it is, and, oh, welcome to the jungle for real. This one, I also transferred to Lekka in my video and that is um, look a root one whole root oh no there's another one right there yay and there's more coming 
I had checked this one several times. It's been real good in the LECA, but I wasn't seeing any roots growing out the bottom. So I saw it earlier today, so I knew that was there. This one is a success because it's growing nicely. There are two stems in here, and as you see, this plant is looking really, really good. The thing about this one is um, I had a bigger one that had like three or four stems. It was so pretty and it was full, and I decided I would cut it and uh, stick the, the cuttings in the soil, and then I would get new leaves shooting out and then make it fuller. Didn't work out that way. I got one stem left and I'm gonna put it in here somewhere, a picture of it, but that's all I have left. In fact, I'm gonna go get it, so give me one second. Okay, so here it is. This one I had um, put, Okay, so I dropped my phone. Um, this was the one that I had that was much bigger. I had cut the stem. This shot out. The other two stems actually shot out um, new uh, leaves like this too, but then the other ones died and this was the only survivor. I have it sitting in pumice. And so far so good. It's pushing out some new leaves, so, but it, as you can see, this is much bigger than this one, and the original plant that this came from was even way bigger than this, so I don't know what I was thinking. So that was an epic fail. This is a super success. This was an epic fail. Moving All on. right, so we're going to get back to my Peace Lily Domino. Um... This one I know is a success with the roots and stuff. You can see them coming out there. I have to get some more soil. I'm, I'm not soil. Rocks to put in here because these roots are sitting in this water and I don't want them sitting in the water. But um, this one is a success. I'm hoping that this plant will bloom for me. Maybe not this this season, maybe in the summer, maybe in the fall, maybe in the winter. But as you see, this plant was looking good from the beginning. I decided I wanted to swap it over to LECA and it's been doing just fine. It's pretty much staying the same way it did when um, it was in soil. I did burn the leaf a little because the the plant is growing and the light that is under it's touching it and that's how I got this nice little burn my poor my poor plant so that is it that is my like a success and epic fail um, I want to plant more of my plants in Lekka but I have to figure out which ones I'm going to transfer. I don't want to do any big ones. I want to do some small ones. I wonder if I will... Well, that's a dumb question. Anyway, that is it, guys. I am done showing you all of the plants that I had transferred over into the LECA. Um, as you saw, some were successful, some not so much. Um, I will definitely want to transfer more plants into LECA. Uh, I do see the um, the benefits of LECA versus soil. There's no worry about fungus gnats in soil. And I say that and a fungus gnat just flew in front of me. Um, there's no worry about fungus gnats in, in soil. I wish transferring to LECA would get rid of bugs altogether because the mealybugs are really infecting my plants. I found them on my, I forgot one plant. I'm gonna show it to you guys now. Okay, last but not least 
is my Cebu Blue. Um, unfortunately, this plant has been infested by mealybugs. Um, it was looking like, mm. in fact, this this leaf here, which you can see, is of a lighter color than the other ones. Um, I noticed that it just looked weird and I'm still inspecting it. I sprayed it down. It's been in quarantine, but I'm kind of nervous having these things touch me. But um, I happened to look under a leaf and they set up a family underneath this leaf. This one leaf out of that leaf that I showed you guys must have been just as good. But then I noticed that other leaves were getting yellow, like this one. And um, I sprayed it down. I didn't find it on any other leaves, but this is in Lekka. As you see here, it has some roots growing. Um, I wiped down the whole pot and underneath the pot and then I sprayed it down. It's been down um, in quarantine for about two weeks now. Maybe, you know, two weeks, yeah. Um, this is one of my favorites. This was a wish list plant and I'm like not letting them get this plant, but they have infected my other pothos. Um, they are sitting in quarantine. Almost every last pothos that I have is in quarantine right now, thanks to these stinking mealybugs. And they are very annoying. I found them on my pothos, on this, this Cebu Blue. I found them on my Chinese Evergreen. Um, I found them on my Jewel Orchid here. This one. Um, I think that's what it is on that, that I saw in that, but I'm not taking any chances. I found them <laughs> on my other Aglonema, Aglionema. I just, I'm, I'm frustrated with mealybugs, but I digress. We'll move on. So that is really it. These are all of the plants that I have in LECA. Most of them are successful, super success or an epic fail. Um, and I hope that you come, you, okay, sorry. I hope that you like, subscribe, comment, click the bell to know when another video is coming out. If anyone can tell me something else other than the basics for mealybugs i'd appreciate it the plant is still growing it's getting some nice new leaves i think it, i really believe i caught it early even though they were on that one leaf they seem to have been migrating there on that one leaf um i'm the plant still looks good it's it's really it's growing it's growing nicely so I'm happy and I'm planning on making sure that this plant is a survivor of mealybugs and not a victim. So there we go. That is it. Thank you for watching. Please stay healthy. Be careful out there, everyone, and keep planting. This plant used to be so much fuller.